Hi everybody, welcome to a new tutorial on ARPBAD2 from the creator of StubBAD. Um, if you recall, is one of my preferred uh, MIDI uh, processor that I use all the time inside the AUM. So let's have a look because I'm really excited. So let's add a MIDI channel and also an audio channel. Let's load as an audio MIDI processor. Let's load ARPBAD2. Here we go and it's loaded. Let's load also as an audio uni extension, electric vintage from Apesoft. Okay. Okay, perfect. So <clears throat> let's establish the link between the two, like so. Let's uh, uh, open up now up by the two, and let's also open up uh, um, the keyboard and uh, maximize the window. It sits very much between a, a, a MIDI sender and a MIDI receiver. So in this case, the sender it will be um, uh, the keyboard, which I can play here, and uh, which will go into our bad shoe, which then will create MIDI arpeggiated notes, which will then drive the instance of electric vintage here. So <clears throat> let's see how it works. Very similar to other programs like StepBud, you have a number of steps here. So let's remove all of them to start uh, um, fresh. Okay, so very simple, click on plus, you add uh, uh, just one. So in this particular case, let's say that uh, I uh, click play and I click a C note. And we repeat that note here, okay, as a first step. Let's, uh, if I add two, if I play two notes now, I see an E. It will always play the first note, a C4, because it is set as a first step to play only the interval number one. You can click and move up and down or use your finger. So if I say uh, interval number two, because I'm, I'm pressing C4 and E4 down E on the keyboard, it plays the second one, which is for the second interval. And, um, and I should have said we are on the first view, which is called intervals here. So if I was to add another step like so, then I could say play the first, uh, uh, first note twice, and then perhaps uh, the last two notes play interval number two, like so. So if now I press C4 and E flat four, so he's playing twice C4, C4, then E flat four, E flat four, which corresponds to C4, C4 here, the first two steps, and then the other two here. Okay, so this is very much how it works. I press on the keyboard as uh, the for I send me the messages, which will be in, uh, to ARPAD2, which it will be then arpeggiated, and the output will go to the electric vintage audio unit instance. And of course, you can continue like that. So let's make it um, even more interesting. So uh, like so. So C, C, E flat, E flat, G, and then E flat, that is what I was playing. And you would recognize the traditional arpeggiator if I was doing something like this, right? And I would say, uh, in this case, instead of deleting the last two steps, which I can do using the minus symbol, I can also disable them, click them like that on top, right? Of course, the, they will be they will be muted, right? Not disabled, but I can remove them if I want to. And in this case, I will have the typo, typical up and down arpeggiator. So, and this is very interesting. Let's have a look at other uh, functionality. Under the tab here, we have velocity. So here we can say I don't know the third note, uh, go up the volume at maximum. So. In this case, you can hear that when it, when it was hitting the G4, it was accentuated. Then you can also set the octave to go up and down. So let's say that the last one, we want to go below one. So you can hear on the last note, uh, which corresponds as an interval to the second, which will be in flat, it was, it was set to go below an octave. 
You can also set the gate in terms of note duration, so if I want to make them more staccato, something like this. So this sets how long the note is kept. And you can also have ratchet, so let's say that I want the uh, second one, second interval repeated twice, I do like that. And you can observe here where it is highlighted, the step is being played. And when it gets to the second steps, um, it will play twice that interval. You can also set uh, randomness. Okay, so you can say, let's go random up. So it plays random notes. So it's still repeating the setting, uh, still keeping the setting for octave and the velocity but is randomizing the notes. And you can set that uh, as a behavior here under settings. So you can scroll down. At the moment it's set to randomize the interval, uh, which I called note, but you can also activate or randomize velocity, octave, gate, ratchets and probability. Um, and the last tab you have probability at the moment is set to 100% because you want uh, uh, all the intervals being played for each of the steps. So, but you could say there's a 50-50 chance for the two notes, uh, the second and the third interval of steps to be played. So, so 50-50, 54 chance in this case of the second and third step to be to play in the corresponding intervals. So uh, very, very interesting. You can do other things as well. Let's stop here. You can click on the step and hold, and you can copy or delete the step in here as well, which is very useful. You can also set the rate here. So let's um, change the rate, for example, to go faster. <laughs> As you prefer. You can set some swing, very interesting. Tan, 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 tan. It just gives you that feeling of a swing and you can set it as a percentage. Um, then you have also patterns, you can create different patterns which can be called also through MIDI CC. Okay, in this case we have the first part, uh, pattern, but we can create another one click on the plus sign. And here you go, you can create a new pattern. So for example, uh, let's do something. Um, yeah, let's do something. Let's go up to four in this case, like so. And let's play. So I, I play, I click now here to hold the notes on the keyboard, on the AUM keyboard. Let's play some notes and then I change between one pattern to the other to see how that works. So let's start with the first pattern. have randomness still active so let's remove that that's why it was generating uh, it was using all the four but if I remove that randomness now it will play only the first three notes here as intervals and it will play only the last one on the second pattern <laughs> Okay, perfect. Other things under settings, you can set what is the pattern MIDI CC that you're going to use with plus and minus. Also, very important, the MIDI channel you're going to use. The max interval, which uh, has a sequence of settings, so 
in this case if you stay on the interval you can go up maximum to 10 okay and um, then you can uh, set it as i mentioned earlier which randomizer settings you want to be active so do you want to randomize or interval velocity active gate ratchet and probability and then you can also change these settings for the rate and swing uh, swing knob controls which are down here and the different settings there are rotary uh, horizontal vertical vertical and horizontal so just play around on how those works and um, of course this is really really cool because then uh, what you can do as well is um, have another audio instance and um, let's take an accordion there from Apesoft and we can add another MIDI uh, processor we can connect this one in on uh, the second one like so and we can connect these to um, the keyboard as well and uh, we can get uh, then this one to respond to not to channel number one okay now we can go to the second instance of ARP Badju. Uh, let's ensure that the settings is sending um, MIDI signals on channel number two. So it will hit uh, the F accordion. And let's click play. So as you can see, um, in two instances of ARP Badju, the first one driving the electric vintage and the second one driving the accordion. Um, so really fantastic tools you can create your um, different arpeggio patterns uh, and you can get really excited inside the UM with a lot of other uh, UV3. I hope you enjoyed see you next time bye